Aloha! Welcome to another MCK 101 class where I show you the kitchen basics that are going to help elevate your home cooking game. In today's lesson, we're going to be making clarified butter or ghee. Now, what is clarified butter and why do you want to use it? When you clarify butter, you are making it more clear. Clarify, clear, it makes sense, right? We will be taking out all of the butter solids that can burn at a lower temperature. And this leaves us with a beautifully butter flavored oil that can withstand much higher temperatures. Now get ready to be buttered up because we're gonna work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Get yourself one pound or more of whole unsalted butter and start unwrapping it directly into a pot. Start melting the butter over high heat until it just comes to a boil. Clarified butter, or ghee, contains high concentrations of monosaturated omega-3s. This helps support a healthy heart and cardiovascular system. It can even help to reduce your bad cholesterol. Like I said before, by clarifying our butter, we also raise the smoke point, or burning point, from around 350 degrees Fahrenheit to somewhere around 485 degrees Fahrenheit, which means we can saute or fry in it. When the butter has come to a boil, we will turn the heat down to medium-ish and continue to lightly simmer until the solids have completely separated, the excess water has evaporated, and we are left with a beautiful clear oil. As I try to move some of this around the top, you can tell that the oil just below looks cloudy. As we continue, it will get more and more clear. Now that we are about halfway done, you can really start to notice that it looks a lot more clear just under the surface. We will keep it going just a bit longer. You can see now that just below the surface, it looks super clear. Pull it off the heat and let it cool for five to 10 minutes so that it is a little easier to handle. After a short five to 10 minute rest, you can see that we now have something that more resembles oil rather than butter. Finally, we just have to strain it. Put a sieve over a bowl and line it with some sort of tea towel. Slowly pour the ghee through the strainer, being very careful as it could still be very hot. Press the excess oil from the towel and you're done. Look at that crystal clear ghee. Out of any country in the world, India uses the most ghee. They use it for anything from food to medicine and even in some religious rituals. That's the end of today's lesson. I hope that you found it useful. Take your newfound knowledge and go have some fun in your kitchen. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell. Thank you so much for watching. Many mahalos and much aloha.